If you've come to this video, it likely means you've just received the results of your regular breast screening and have been referred. A finding on your screening result was abnormal and your doctor referred you to our practice for recommendations. We certainly understand how much of a shock that might have been for you. You might not understand why you were referred. It's very common that new patients ask us about their screening results. And specifically, what does the BIRAD number mean? We want to help you understand that number and what you can expect to happen next. BIRAD stands for Breast Imaging Reporting and Data System. Your BIRAD number is a measure of how suspicious the results of your imaging tests are, and by extension, how worried you should be. Your BIRADS number ranges from 0 to 6. A BIRADS 0 means inconclusive, ultimately leading to the need for more imaging. A BIRADS 1 is absolutely normal, and a BIRADS 2, also considered normal, reveals findings that we know are benign. A BIRADS 3 is defined as likely benign, which means that statistically, the chance of that finding being related to cancer is less than 3%. Typically for BIRAD3 results, a six-month follow-up repeat imaging is recommended to confirm stability. A BIRAD4 represents a 20% chance of cancer, and this requires a tissue biopsy to be sure. A BIRAD5 has a statistically higher chance of being breast cancer, upwards of 80%, also requiring a biopsy. A BIRAD6 is assigned when an imaging study is done after a cancer diagnosis has already been established. At your consultation, we will review the findings of your imaging and make recommendations. If you need a biopsy, the type of biopsy will be reviewed, as well as the process for scheduling and obtaining those biopsy results. If you need a biopsy, we will typically schedule a core biopsy. A core biopsy is the standard method to obtain tissue for a diagnosis. The old-fashioned surgical biopsy is no longer recommended for tissue sampling. Typically, you won't have a biopsy with us at the first appointment. Instead, we will work with you to determine which biopsy is the most appropriate, get the authorization for that procedure, and take care of all the scheduling most biopsies are minimally invasive procedures that use a needle to collect tissue samples. During a core needle biopsy, a doctor inserts a needle into the suspicious area found on breast imaging. This is guided by imaging technology like a mammogram, ultrasound, or breast MRI. The needle takes out a small amount of tissue for examination Results typically take three to five days. We call all patients with their results, good, bad, or indifferent. If the biopsy is benign, most of the time, no further intervention is required. In some cases, however, a benign biopsy is considered high risk and may need to be surgically excised. If the results of your biopsy demonstrates that you have cancer, we will learn a lot about the cancer and treatment options from the biopsy result itself. We will then schedule another, more lengthy office visit to discuss the cancer, the results of the biopsy, and treatment options.